here we are, guys. We've died. But it's okay. Because we're alive, except I have no idea where we are. I get disoriented on this map. Help me. Here we are. Game number one. Match number one. Between Pop TB Boat and Pop TB Magical Shield. It takes place on Dead Sea. Wasn't his map pick. It's playing as the Red Tribe in the yellow base. That's confusing as all heck. We have Pop TB. TB Boat. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing player introductions because they, they mean nothing. And of course, first building Warrior Training Hut, as is often common on this map. Playing as the Yellow Tribe, it is his map pick. He's in the red position. It is Pop TB <laughs> Magical Shield. So we can have we can use this brand new shiny spectator tool that was developed by the community's own divinity. To keep an eye on the players, see how they're doing. We have all sorts of tabs so we can know how many buildings they got, how much pop they've got. So we'll be using this throughout the game as we aren't able to charge any spells anyway. So it looks like we've got Magical Shield being aggressive. He's scouting around. This is often the case for maps of Dead Sea. You're looking for warrior training huts that have been uh, produced. You're looking for clumps of wild men to convert. We've got towers absolutely everywhere from Boat. He is just expanding and trying to cover as much of the map as possible. We did get a nice four convert from Magical Shield. There is another two there as well. If we go to the map, you can see there's just plans everywhere. And I would expect the same thing to be happening. No, much slower start for Yellow for our friend Magical Shield. He's, uh, he's he's taken a lot longer to conquer the map. I mean, oh my. Look at that population difference already. We have 52 for red, 22 for yellow. But no warriors. No warriors out for red yet. That has to be... Um... Has to be called out. You know, warriors are valuable and they can get a lot of kills, especially when protected properly. But the population advantage is significantly in favour of red right now. Tornado coming out onto the warrior training hut. And that is yellow's only warrior training hut. He is building another one over here. But I don't know how much uh, that's going to stay standing for. Has yellow... Has yellow got any spells? It doesn't look like yellow's got any spells. He's only got 19 pop total. This might be a quick game. Nope. Braves tearing down a warrior training hut, but there is another warrior training hut over here for Populous the Beginning's boat. And another warrior training hut here as well. Let's check boat's population. He has he has dropped boats down to 38 Braves. Only two warriors, 37 Braves and two warriors. But two warriors, two yellow, 12 pop. I think this is over already, guys. What do you think? Hide the UI so you can get more full view. So Red Shaman is just being a nuisance. She's trying to disrupt as much as possible. Converting the occasional wild man just to keep the pop up. But otherwise, just harassing yellow. Stopping yellow getting up any additional warriors. Now, with Red's Warriors conquering the field, I suspect we'll see GG very soon. There it is. GG's already been called. So the first game, it goes down. It was, as uh, Keith52 says in the chat, it was fast AF, and he's not wrong. GG has been called. We're just going to be watching what looks like the remains of the game as yellow goes down to six population, five population, to red's 36. Yeah, at this point there's warriors everywhere. Yellow's not going to be able to charge any spells. As you can see from our UI, yellow doesn't have any spells of note. Neither does Red, but Red doesn't need to. He's got seven buildings. 
seven buildings, of which most of them are warrior training huts. But he's got 38 population. Yellow's scouting around the map. He's looking for wild men to convert, but there are none. Oh no, there are some. There's three over here. Three wild men over here. Does he get all three? He gets two of the three. That hurt to see it. Yeah, you would have thought calling GG, you would have politely surrendered. But there you go. He has quit. That looks like the surrender to me. Oh no, he has just died. It, that was me getting tricked by the uh, UI. The shaman died. Position of the shaman lets you know whether they are alive or not. No give up and salt from yellow. In fact, he's running around the map trying to survive. Bloodlust on Braves. This, this Brave won't stand a chance. There's one population left for Yellow. And Yellow does the honourable thing, perhaps two minutes later than he should have. Yellow surrenders. The first game goes to boat. Level failed. Press spacebar. What is up, everyone? Once again, they're playing... This, they're actually playing the same colours, but in the incorrect bases. Just like the map before it. We're here for map two of a match one of Populous at the Beginning's very own Invisible Cup. If you don't know what that is, it means we have no idea who of the beloved personalities within our community these players actually are. We have playing as the... Shumara tribe in the red position. It is Pop TB, Magical Shield. And his opponent up one game. Playing as the Takini tribe in the Chumara position. It is Pop TB Boat. So, looks like a strong start from both players. This is quite non standard for red. Oh, very cheeky though. I like it. Non-standard, but aggressive. Whole bunch of wild men taken there by Magical Shield. And he's even going to get them out as well. So Boat's paying for his uh, passiveness a little bit. He didn't challenge the high ground, which meant Shaman just got to stand up there. Take almost all of these wildies. Pull back and take a whole bunch of wildies in his own base as well before Boat really gets to answer but Boat is angry you can see them coming up why are you going for the one convert when there's two there could have gone bang bang but uh, Boat's trying to get what he can he's actually cutting <laughs> Boat's helping Magical Shield harvest his trees for him but it's very nice Double Warrior Training Hut coming out from Magical Shield. This is very aggressive. Very, very aggressive plays. Double Warrior Training Hut. Very slow defense coming out from Boat. So Magical Shield is obviously feeling like he can push for an advantage here. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, no, he's fixed himself. Brave was running on the spot for a little bit. But let's go and take a look. I keep forgetting I have this tool. So yeah, we can see the effects of the early convert already. 64 population to Magical Shield and only 40 for Boat. Three Warriors, one Fire Warrior to Magical Shield, four Warriors to Boat, six Huts to five. No major spells in either Shaman's Arsenal quite yet. And if we go to bird view, we can see the plans that they have paced. Bird view, this is world view. We can see the plans that have been placed down. A little bit of slow building, I think. But a, a very unorthodox start. We've actually got a push from the shaman here. Magical shield is taking the middle and it looks like boat's going to answer. It's not going to allow the damage to take place. Boat is only working on a population of 45, and that's 38 Braves right now. 
But uh, this is a very strong bluff. Yeah, and uh, Magical Shield unfortunately does go down there, giving First Blood, First Shaman kill over to Boat. But warriors doing their best to strip back the defense, but look at this. This was the important thing. Yellow comes down here. Red follows in the, dis in the distraction. You know, yellow was bluffing. Yellow had no spells. And uh, gets these warriors in and just absolutely murders a whole bunch of population. Look, red's down another 10 pop from the last time we checked. Very, very strong, aggressive warrior plays. Red has answered with a warrior training hut of his own. This is very important. He needs to get fire warriors in the huts. He needs to get warriors training immediately. While... Yeah, yellow is just pumping out warriors. Where are all these braves going? This is interesting. Oh, they're just building. I thought he was starting to attack with braves, and I was thinking with the towers garrisoned, that would be very foolhardy. That's a good question. Where is yellow's light? Yellow doesn't have one right now. In fact, neither player is packing any spells, even now, which is virtually unheard of for a 1v1 in Idrisil. Neither player packing dam damaging spells five minutes into an Idrisil game. Oh, there's the lightning. Yellow does have a lightning in the chamber. Warriors hold red still. Yellow is still alive. Gets the kill. But goes down himself. I mean, the shaman dying is not too big a deal. Shaman dying not is not too big a deal because she's got no mana. We're going to be seeing where the warriors look to move next. It looks like... It looks like Magical Shield has made the correct choice. And in doing... And is actually keeping his warriors back. But there's no defense. No defense at all for Magical Shield. If Magical Shield spends too much time on this... Boat will overtake him, and Boat will start to control the map and, by proxy, win this game. So it looks like we've got a battle of the warriors over here, but the uh, yellow warriors are going to lose without a shadow of a doubt. Shaman beats warrior uh, when she's got access to blast, and all those warriors just get cleaned up. And w yeah, with that with that change in population, we've actually got uh, boat having the advantage for the first time in the game. Nice use of the blast trick there, but does go down. This could be dangerous and could even be devastating. But we do know that red has no spells. Does yellow know that red has no spells? I am sorry. I'm using colours because I don't uh, want. I keep forgetting the player names. I've got to be honest with you. Can't lie to you guys. You guys are amazing. You're supporting me. I can't tell you. I can't tell you a lie now. There's the earthquake right between the double warrior hut. Is RNG kind? Eh. I'd say that was the most neutral choice. To be fair to both players, that RNG could have done. It took out one warrior training hut. It could have taken out both. It could have taken out none. It went, nah, I'm going to meet you in the middle and I'm going to take out one. That's fair. That's that's what we call a trade. So, like to see Yellow finish off his base. If we go into Worldview, you can see he's got very few huts upgraded. Uh, he has next to no defense. And if we go over to Red... You can see Red's building quite slowly and his population reflects that and he's also not upgrading terribly quickly. But he had a very dodgy start. What I do like for Red is the defense. Boat has so much defense that it's going to make attacks on him difficult. Whereas Magical Shield does not have the same defensive standard. You know, you've got one tower here, one tower here, one tower here. Three towers total on PP is is just asking to get rolled over by any half decent player. Missed lightning, and here come the ghost and a well placed blast. Magical shield secures a nice 
A nice kill. So, we can see that red has tornado in the chamber. Yellow has absolutely nothing aside from that light that they just missed. Rocking 35 pop to 56. This is absolutely horrific for yellow right now. Magical shields in a bad way. She's building more warrior training arts. When did these get here? Footprints tell me that these were force walked all the way along the coastline by boat into the base. Because you can see their footprints. They were forced all along that path and snuck in. So there's warriors in the back of Magical Shield's base. Praying to the middle going on, of course. On this 1v1 variant, this is not Armageddon. This is a mere volcano. 60 population, 61 population for boat to Magical Shield's 36. Almost double the population. And in that one tornado, Magical Shield has lost a third of his towers. Isn't that mental? I don't think Magical Shield even knows about the population in the back of his base. Of course, my chat, you are allowed to guess the identities of the players. I will neither confirm nor deny their identities, but you are more than welcome to guess at any point. Earthquake. We're seeing a real we're seeing a real Yggdrasil spell. This this is a spell that people actually use. First earthquake of the game, 10 minutes in, very non-standard for Yggdrasil. So we've got fire warriors at the back of the base, not really doing anything, but this warrior training hat is going to go down and just leave a patch of damaged ground. So yellow was really greedy, like he's put huts down where we would typically place towers. You would get extra population if you could be bothered to, you know, upgrade them and stuff, and if you could survive long enough. But I really don't think that that's going to be the case for this game. And in fact, I think Yellow's really underestimated his position in this game as well. He's got no spells, even now, 10 minutes in, where you haven't seen him cast anything other than a lightning. And Red is starting to run away with the game. Got some good blasts coming out. So, it looks like Boat's... Going to clear this up pretty easy. Uh, a little bit disappointed both these games have been so quick. <laughs> you see, GG, that rush though from Magical Shield and he surrenders. Both of these games have been extraordinarily quick. Pop TB Boat is the first player to advance. Magical Shield... We knew thee well.